Can women also suffer from erectile dysfunction? What is the relationship between self-esteem and sexual pleasure? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Women do not experience erectile dysfunction as this is a condition that specifically affects men and is related to the inability to maintain an erection. In women, sexual difficulties may include disorders such as sexual dysfunction, lack of sexual desire, or pain during sex. Positive self-esteem is linked to a more satisfying sexual experience by fostering confidence in the body, personal acceptance, and open communication with the partner. This facilitates exploration and experimentation in intimacy. In contrast, low self-esteem may be associated with anxieties that negatively affect the quality of sexual life. Orgasmic dysfunction. The inability to reach orgasm, known as anorgasmia, can affect both men and women. This can be due to physical, emotional, or health-related factors and can be treated with the help of healthcare professionals. Orgasms and menopause. Some women experience an increase in the frequency and intensity of orgasms after menopause, as hormonal changes can positively impact sexual function. Painful coitus syndrome, also known as dyspareunia, is a condition where a person experiences pain during intercourse. It can be caused by various reasons, such as medical, emotional, or physical issues. Personal care. Personal care, including hygiene, style, and health, can also influence attraction. Physical build. Some women may find different types of physique attractive, whether slender, athletic, or with a bit of weight, depending on personal preferences. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Post-orgasm sensations. After an orgasm, men may experience a variety of sensations including a feeling of relaxation and drowsiness due to the release of hormones like oxytocin. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Sleep and sex are interconnected. Having sex before bedtime can help release tensions and promote more restful sleep. Additionally, some people experience erotic dreams that can result in sexual arousal during the night. Respect for limits. Respecting the partner's limits is fundamental. If someone does not feel comfortable or is not interested in trying anal sex, those limits should be respected. Science of kissing. A kiss can activate up to 34 different muscles in the face and burn between two and five calories per minute. Sense of adventure. Some women are attracted to men who are willing to explore the world and have exciting experiences. Sex and longevity. Several studies have shown that an active sex life may be related to greater longevity. Endorphins released during sex can reduce stress and improve mood, contributing to a longer and healthier life. Sex and sports, regular physical activity can improve sexual function and performance. Exercise can increase stamina and blood circulation, often translating into better sexual health. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sex in the elderly. Sexuality in old age is an important part of life for many older individuals. Older couples can continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexual inhibitors. Some medications can have sexual side effects. Sexual inhibitors, such as some antidepressants, may reduce sexual desire or make arousal and orgasm more difficult. It is important to talk to a healthcare professional if experiencing these effects. Sexual therapy for hypoactive sexual desire disorder focuses on addressing the lack of interest in sex by identifying emotional and physical factors that may be contributing. Sexuality and the elderly. Sexuality has no expiration date. Many older people continue to have sexual relationships and enjoy intimacy in their golden years. Shared passions and interests. 
sharing common interests and hobbies can strengthen a connection. Finding common ground and enjoying activities together can be attractive. Smile. A sincere and kind smile is attractive to many people, as it is associated with kindness and empathy. Stress's effect on fertility. Chronic stress can have a negative impact on fertility in both men and women. Stress can affect sex hormones and reduce the ability to conceive. Tantric sex is a practice that focuses on emotional connection and deep intimacy. It emphasizes control of arousal and can lead to prolonged and satisfying sexual experiences. The effect of music on sex, music can influence sexual arousal. Some people find that certain music genres, such as jazz or R&B, can create an intimate and sensual atmosphere. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. The influence of music on arousal. Music can be a powerful aphrodisiac. Various musical styles and songs can influence mood and sexual arousal. The sexual toy industry has experienced a boom in recent years, with a wide variety of products designed to enhance sexual pleasure and intimacy for couples. Tickling and sex. Tickling can play an unusual role in sexual arousal. Some people find that stimulation of certain erogenous zones can induce both tickling and pleasure simultaneously. Vaginal orgasm versus clitoral orgasm. While clitoral stimulation is a common source of female orgasms, some women may experience vaginal orgasms from stimulation of the anterior vaginal wall, known as the G-spot. Variability in experiences. Each person experiences anal sex differently. What works for one person may not be equally enjoyable for another, and it's important to respect those differences. Virginity. The perception of virginity and its importance varies widely depending on culture and time. In some places, it is highly valued, while in others, it is considered less relevant. Wedding night phenomenon. The wedding night is a tradition where the couple has sexual intercourse for the first time after the wedding. While once a significant cultural expectation, Many modern couples choose to challenge this tradition and take their time. Sex and cardiovascular health. Sex is a physical exercise that can benefit cardiovascular health. Some studies suggest that sexually active people may have a lower risk of heart disease. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot achieve another orgasm or immediate erection. The duration of the refractory period can vary widely among individuals. Relationship between depression and decreased sexual desire. Depression can impact sexual desire, and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.